fear is a natural phenomenon like hunger and sex. Anyone who says he is not frightened is a liar, except perhaps the Gorkha. Everyone is frightened. It is one thing to be frightened and quite another to show fear. It's when your knees are knocking and your teeth are chattering and you're about to make your own geography. <laughs> That's when the real leader comes out. If once you show fear in front of men that you may be commanding, it doesn't matter whether they're soldiers, they're clerks, they're labor, there are students, once you show fear, you should quit. Now again, General D'Souza said, I must give some examples from my own life. This was in Burma in 1942. I was commanding a Sikh company, big tough chaps, very fond of them. I had a man called Sohan Singh, big man, stood about six foot four. He had been promoted many times to Lance Nike, to Nike, and every time, because he was a Badmash, he was broken. We'd had lots of casualties and we had to make promotions. So we had a promotion conference with the commanding officer, and Sohan Singh's name came up and I said, no, no use making him, he'll be broken tomorrow. So he was passed over. The conference finished, names were published, I came back to my basha, where my company was in the jungle, and I found my senior subedar Balwan Singh, terribly worried, and he said, Saab, Son Singh ko kaid kar diya. I said, kyun kya hua? Usne bola ke aaj aapko Saab goli marega. So I said, oh, achcha, peshi ho. So a stool was put in. A table was put there and Son Singh was marched up in front of me. Son Singh was at that time a light machine gunner. And light machine gunners carried pistols. And his pistol was taken away from him. So he was marched up in front of me. The usual charge was read out. And I said, Son Singh, kya baat hai? Saab galti ho gaya. So I said, Tumne bola ka tu humko goli marega. So I picked up the pistol, loaded it, walked up to him, handed the pistol to him. I said, Tera dil hai marne ka maro. And he said, Nay saab galti ho gaya. So I gave him a tight slap. I said, Shh, Case dismissed. Ja, bhago. I went off to the mess, uh, had my dinner, came back, and Everybody in the company was very worried. And the Subhida Saab Balwan Singh said, Nay Saab, aaj raat aapko, aapko goli marega. <laughs> so I shouted out, Son Singh, kidder hai? Son Singh came along. I said, Son Singh, aaj raat mera basha pat tum sentry hoga. A kal subha, paanch baje, ek magga cha, aur ek magga garam pani dadi banane ke liye. Koi shak? Be shak, paka. And I went in there. He, I was woken up in the morning by Son Singh with a mug of tea and a mug of hot water. And he followed me like a lamb throughout the conflict. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you think I wasn't frightened, you are mistaken. I was terrified. <laughs> but if I hadn't done that, if I hadn't done that and put Son Singh in the clink or something like that, everybody would have said, Deka, hamara saab darta hai. Just an example of this. How often during riots and all that, some young sergeant with nothing but a little stick in his hand has walked in and quelled everything by showing courage. So physical courage is essential to leadership. 
You needn't be foolhardy like I was. I was very young. I don't know whether I do it today. But physical courage is essential. 